Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. Let me know how the audio is and how everything else looks. I am actually filming in a new location. Been doing it for a little bit here and there. I know y'all can't tell. I think I got a little more control over the sound here, and it's I got access to this location a lot more often than my old. My old one was great. <clears throat> this one, the drawback is I ain't gonna be filming out here in the summer. It's gonna be hot. But hey, what we got here? This is Brian Coville's author of My Teacher is an Alien, Monster of the Year. Now I remember just having this on a smaller paperback, but this cover. The reason why I held on to this book for so many years and ended up getting this new copy is because of the artist. It's a minstrel. But it's one of those books that you would see like at your school book fair. Matter of fact, let's see. The craziest contest in the world. And there's a vampire. You got a mummy. You got a Frank Samos. got a werewolf. got the two judges. Uh, $2.99. Look at the back here. Don't tell these monsters. Don't these monsters know a joke when they see it? When Mike and Kever... Announced their Monster Year concerts is just a funny way to liven up a dull summer. Of course, not everyone starts a joke with a 12-foot high billboard. Not everyone's mother owns a billboard company either. Mike and Kevin thought they'd lucked out when Mike's mom gave them the jobs of assistance at Adams Outdoor and Billboard Advertising Company. Of course, this is before the contest, before the telegram from Transylvania, before Igor and the first contestant arrived, before the count moved his coffin into Mike's space, and definitely before Mike and Kevin met Lulu Tumalu. It was a contest and none would ever forget. Okay, so it don't sound so like typical you know, kids stuff for this. I mean, this uh, what year is this? Get a year on it. Eighty nine. Yeah, I was like fourteen when I read this thing. Then back then, my mother worked the book fair at the elementary school I used to go to. And by fourteen, I'd been in what about ninth grade, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because her working book first, she got the books like extremely cheap. So she'd always hear, see if there's anything you want. I remember seeing, oh, I'll take a chance on it. The reason why I told on to all these years is right there. Illustrated by Harvey Kurtzman, legendary mad cartoonist artist, cover illustration by Stephen Faster. That's why. What this basically is, is this kid, this main kid, Mike, his best friend, Kevin, they share the same birthday. Their birthday's in the summer. His mom owns a billboard company. He starts working for his birthday present year. He wants to make his own billboard. They got a sign. They like the, the contract got canceled or something. I can't remember exactly. Oh, the woman, this woman is protesting like anything she considers immoral. And they hold, they, they're both monster kids. They advertise a monster of the year contest. And all these Igor shows up with the Frankenstein's monster. And then, you know, of course, Dracula and then the mummy and the wolf man and the invisible man and the gill man and all this stuff. And they're running, they're wanting to run the contest, and they don't know who to pick because they think whoever they pick, the other ones will either be upset or try to kill them. And they end up picking the woman who's been protesting everything. I can't remember her name now. But like Lulu Tamalu is like the local DJ's daughter who's in love with one of the characters. I have not read this book in forever. I'm just remembering pieces of it from memory. I just found this the other day when I was cleaning up some stuff. And I remember these great Harvey Kurtzman illustrations. And I'll say mine was normal paperback size. It wasn't this wide, so I'm thinking. The illustrations are bigger now. This is one of those I held on to for years and years and would reread it every couple of years. There ain't a lot of Kurtzman art in this one, I remember. There's the billboard. And this is the main guy's, like, stepdad, if I'm remembering right. I just love when I find, you know, great artists like Kurtzman doing, like, little oddball stuff like this. And this is one where, um, probably on Amazon right now, look, there's one the... They get the crate and they find out the monster's actually in. Look at the monster busting through it. What ends up happening is stuff like the, oh, what I was saying about this one is you can find this extremely cheap. Like Amazon, I got this copy for a couple bucks and shipping. Like I probably paid five dollars. I need to sit down and reread it. It ain't very long. I love the Gilman look. Look at all the other monsters, but look at the Gilman. The Gilman looks so good. So there's what about eight or nine Harvey Kurtzman pieces of art in here, and that's about it. Oh, that's when they have, they have a big meeting and all the monsters start acting up. And I want to say this lady here is supposed to be the one that freaks, like the one that's against everything. I can't remember what her name is now. I, need to, I really need to reread this. I should have done it, but I wanted to get this one done tonight. Oh, Godzilla! <laughs> Godzilla shows up. Godzilla or God, Godzilla or Godzuni or some shit like this. <laughs> And there's Igor. Or that's the hunt. Is that the Hunchback? Yep. I'm going to tap all the kids wanting this autograph. 
And there they give a... We want to thank these monsters for participation. However wonderful as they are, we all know that ugliness is only skin deep. So... You decide, decide the first monster you prize should go to someone who is demonstrated really means to be a monster. Someone who manages to squeeze the human spirit, stifle imagination, hold our hearts in bondage. Someone who wants to control what we think, what we see, and what we hear, and what we read. Someone who represents the tradition of the cruelest, most frightening monster of all times. Those who would bind not only our hands, but our hearts. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the monster here is none other than Myrna Schmud. And then that's the end of it. Here, I love this. Harvey Kurtzman, Men in Mad Magazine, serves as editor for first 28 issues. His art humor inspired comic book artists for over two decades. It made millions of people laugh. He's also the author of My Life as a Cartoonist, available for menstrual books. Bruce Cover has written dozens of books for young readers, including My Teachers and Aliens, Sarah's Unicorn, The Monsters Ring, and the Camp Haunted Hills books. I'll survive my summer vacation. Some of my best friends are monsters. He grew up in central New York, where he lived most of his life. My grandfather was a farmer. He also served as hair care at the local cemetery. I spent a lot of time helping him there when I was growing up, he says. Not only that, my school colors are orange and black, and my favorite holiday has always been Halloween, so sometimes I think I can't help writing monster stories. Before becoming a full-time writer, Bruce Cole worked as a magazine editor, a teacher, a toy maker, and a grave digger. You can order the Camp mon the camp Monster books. Oh, look for the final book of my Teacher's Alien series coming in 92. But I just thought it'd be a neat one to cover. It's, you know, some comic stuff, and well, we're down one comic channel. I'll tell you when I'm recording this. Then... As of today, a week since they posted a video. I've heard through the grapevine that, yeah, it's gone. It, it's over, so. Hey. No more them. Ask that podcast. Been here before. Still around. I'm out. Laters.